Sports. Under the brilliant floodlights of the Melbourne Cricket Ground, this is the latest long-awaited production of Friday Night's Football. Tonight, featuring those crowd favourites, North Melbourne and Melbourne, and such stars of the screen as King Carey and the Irishman, Wayne Schwoss and the Demon's own Gary Lyon. It's part romance, part drama, but total entertainment. It's Friday Night's Football. What an opening end. What a great game I think we have tonight. Melbourne on the ground. Just the one change with Uze coming into the side. Hello, welcome to Friday Night Football. The best news is the condition of the Melbourne Cricket Ground tonight for this clash between North and Melbourne. It's in terrific condition considering the races were called off at about 3 o'clock this afternoon, which means we've had miserable weather in Melbourne all week. Wayne Carey, that's better news again. He is playing, we believe Wayne Schwoss will be there, no changes. And yes, Wayne Schwoss out there, so Carey and Schwoss for North Melbourne. No changes to either team, but the ground is in tremendous condition, considering the fact that uh, it's been a lousy old week, just seven or eight degrees in Melbourne for much of the day. Plenty of rain, they've had the super sopper out here. And frankly, if it doesn't rain tonight, they'll be able to play a bit of dry weather footy, which is terrific. So North there, they're currently in the top six, just hanging on there. They want to try and make the four, and Melbourne are in eighth place. Welcome, Jared. Thanks, Bruce, and what a great night it is, considering the rain absolutely bucketed down here today. Speaking of that, it did last Friday night uh, when North had to go to Adelaide. A fluky sort of a match. Adelaide did very well to win. North not far away. They've made three changes tonight. Fairly, Pyman and King have all come in. Pyman, interesting, isn't he? Has played for a long time. No, good to see you. He's a quality player and may well start uh, straight in the middle, but uh, you look at uh, the North Melbourne side, you can't get away from the two Waynes, Wayne Swass and of course Wayne Carey, but tonight's keys I think will be John Longmire and of course uh, Corey McKernan. McKernan in particular is an interesting one because last year he, uh, he really did arrive and uh, after a bit of a slow start to the season with an injury, he, he has reached reasonable form, although I still think he's got another couple of gears to go up. He really does add flexibility to uh, Dennis Pagan's coaching repertoire and uh, he will, may well be seen in the ruck. But uh, John Longmire is another key for them. I wonder which end he'll play at tonight. He's been up and down, uh, full back, full forward the last couple of weeks. But I would think tonight he'll uh, go forward because they do need to kick some goals. And John Longmire uh, is a talented player. Speaking of which end, uh, that's one of the keys to Melbourne and where David Neeks night might play tonight. They haven't panicked after losing to Geelong. It was probably their worst performance for a long, long time, Melbourne. And YZE has come into the team. Who's a right down at the bottom, the 17-year-old? Yes, in fact, Melbourne led North Melbourne in round two by 15 points at three-quarter time in round uh, two at the start of the season. But uh, they did fall away. But I don't think they'll fall away tonight. And uh, much of this side uh, re revolves around Gary Lyon. They've also got Smith up there. Pretty potent forward line despite their uh, obvious key absences with uh, some injuries. But this, the keys tonight, I think, will be Jim Steins with his mobility and also Paul Primke. Jim Steins, well, I think uh, his form and Melbourne's form this season has certainly uh, run fairly well par parallel. And after about uh, the first month, Jimmy Steins really did get back to his best. But a fellow that has played a great season all year is Paul Krim Primke, and he'll get the job on Kerry. The 1995 AFL Premiership season. Brought to you by Mitsubishi Motors Australia. Qantas, McDonald's, Mobile, Carlton Draft and National Australia Bank. So there's some of the key players in tonight's clash between North Melbourne and Melbourne. Not a huge crowd at this stage, it is building up. Uh, it's very cold in Melbourne, but they're gonna see a game that should warm their hearts. We're gonna take a break, back with the opening bounce after this. Australia's most in Start of the match, Friday night footy at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. North go to the left, the Melbourne team going to the right. Out of the centre square, Ashenko and Steins were going together. Jimmy Steins still with this long run. Unbroken consecutive matches. Does a lot of neutralising in the centre bounce. Jumps early and the ball ends up hitting the deck. Couldn't get a run there and Ashenko had the strength. Rock unable to get the kick away. Hilton's tackle deemed to be unfair. And Rock getting the free kick out of the centre to Schwoz. Got a kick on the calf against Adelaide last week. Kicks to centre half forward. Primke in the front spot, Kerry didn't really fly there. Solid handball out wide, opportunity for Stevens. White with him, and Sean White forces it out. 
So it'll be a throw in about 35 metres from North Melbourne's goal. Viney and Stevens running together just there for the moment. Midfield will be all important here. Gerald will pick up all the matchups there. Steins worked underneath the footy. Ops just gave it up. Primke tries to weave through, does well. Viney's little give a beauty to Matthew Phoebe to centre wing. Hilton, good mark on him, Anderson. So Hilton right in front of us, Robbo, in the seven commentary box. Yes, pretty exciting start between uh, North Melbourne and uh, the Demons. And there's a good mark taken by David Neitz. Gee, he must be getting up close to 30 marks in the last three games. David Neitz a long kick towards full forward, out in front. Smith couldn't take the mark. Tried a little toe poke there, Gary Lyon, but picked off there by Ross Smith. Goes to the far side of the ground, out in front of Matthew Armstrong. He gathers, but he's forced to kick with the right foot. Not bad, though. Gets good ground. Primke playing well. Very consistent player at the moment, Paul Primke. It's an half back for Melbourne. Dyson's going to get run down, but he shrugs the carry tackle and goes forward into the left forward pocket. What a leap and mark. Sean Smith. Up and down like a jack in the box. And he has been fantastic for Melbourne this year. And here's Kevin Dyson, who was named on the bench, but uh, started on the on the park. And what a big leap there in front of Reynolds. And the fact that Melbourne have picked up this fellow really has uh, gone a long way to making up for the loss of Swartz. And of course, he played AFL football with North Melbourne. Sean Smith, his kick misses off to the right. And through for the first score of the game, it's a behind to Melbourne and the North bench. It's uh, Daniel Chico, Brett Allison, and Pyman presently in the dugout for the Kangaroos. Interesting matchup on the wing, Bruce, uh, with Cal picking up Swass. Well, he'll go with him for pace, won't he? Uh, Anderson short one to Blakey. Big fly there was from Swass. Steins out of play. North, 10 wins for the year. The Demons, 8. See, so currently six in Melbourne and expected to get uh, maybe a degree cooler by the end of the night. Very chilly evening. Steins caught by Ashenko. Melbourne lost their first sixth. A free kick against the D's and away they go now. Armstrong's high ball. Carey attacks it strongly. Grimke's had two touches already. Matthew Phoebe back to Stephen Phoebe, his twin brother. Out to centre wing. Obst. Sits on it. Good little uh, kick by Obbs, really. Had he kicked full, he would have kicked it out of bounds on the full. He's able to keep it down. Andy Lovelace and able to get it. Obbs in the veteran class now. Comes from a famous football family in South Australia. Well, we said even money before the game, and that's what they're betting. National Sportsbook say five to four on each of two. And Obbs running with uh, Matthew Armstrong. King it is for North Melbourne. Kicks to half forward. Carey, can he control it? He's oh. brilliantly tackled by Cow. Ball spills now for Printy. He's tackled, dispossessed. Through goes Hopgood. Umpires allowing play to go on at centre half back for Melbourne. Printy again, and he finds Obst. Obst for the Demons. He's on centre wing, member side. Goes in towards half forward. Beautifully weighted kick. Finds Dyson. Dyson has two kicks from goal. He goes into the pocket. This is a good pass. Well done, David Neitz. And already causing North Melbourne some problems, as was predicted by Neil Baum. A lot of discussion about whether David Neitz would line up on Wayne Carey. But the Demons going with their talented half-forward David Neitz in that key position so far. Now Neitz really, you would expect him to get the distance. He's on a tight angle. It's a lovely kick. Will it get the distance? No, it won't. Hilton. He's got a chance, Jeff Hilton. He's kicked it over his left shoulder for a goal. He hasn't kicked the goal. Oh, gee, there was some excitement in the square. Jeffrey Hilton are behind. Doyle in the background there. Brett Lovett. And the interchange bench for the Demons. Kicking in it is Anderson. Gets pretty good distance. At the back, Laidley, it sat beautifully. Laidley away, up to half forward. That's good rebound by North. Couple of kicks and they've got it right down the other end of the ground. May have been young Uze sitting it out too on the bench with Lovett and Doyle. There's Wayne Schwoss, best and fairest of the club last year. 
one of the uh, top class players in the game. Hopgood from half back, almost to centre wing. Ishenko half volley, okay. Scott able to run away. Now on the left foot to centre half forward. Longmire and Carey goes to ground. Viney, well played. Now has to kick it and kick it hard. He did it well. He's got it spinning towards the line. It's running towards the boundary. King back in the team tonight. Phoebe props on him, didn't commit himself. King to set a half forward. Kernan just punched off the ball with a little hip and shoulder. Dyson, quick kick. He's had a couple of touches early. Hilton outnumbered, he'll go for it. The punch of the back from Smith was pretty good. Stevens caught by Glenn Lovett. Melbourne's tackling is often the feature of their game and it's not letting them down early tonight as is a ball up. So the Demons are two points, the Kangaroos are yet to score. And Glenn Lovett, who, uh, with Andrew Jarman, wouldn't they be a looker like those two? Look, you beat me to it, Bruce. She's making his uh, quest for entrance into the Bald Men of Football Brigade, but he's been picked up by Robert Scott tonight. As Jenko gets his left hand to it. Chance for Roberts, now Armstrong. Squeezes a kick out towards full forward. Knocked away from McKernan. By Seacamp. Carey. Stephen Phoebe playing his 150th game. Lovely way to kick again. It's one of the skills of the players in today's football. Under pressure, they seem to be able to deliver with precision. That kick to half forward, running onto it, Glenn Lovett. Has he got enough pace to break the tackle? Good pressure provided by Scott. In there was Anderson. Gets it to Fairley. Blakey over the top. Scott runs past the tackler and then gets onto his right foot. Kicks in towards the centre of the ground. Out in front, Carey. Positive football from the captain. He kicks across the half-forward line. Knocked away from Longmire by White. After it again goes Johnny Longmire in his endeavours to get the goals to pass Jock Spencer's record. McKernan over the top. Longmire goes for goal. And he's missed. Well, it would have been a match there, Jared. Yeah, it would have been a confidence boost if that one had have gone through, uh, of course, Robbo. There she is, our favourite North Melbourne supporter. Isn't she a great, uh, a great supporter of Friday night football? Marcus Seekamp, big job tonight, picking up Corey McKernan. Oh, kick in, Schwassel going in, goal! Terrible error by the Demons. Wayne Schwassel swooped on that kick in from Seekamp and got the first goal of the game, North lead 1-1 to two points. On seven. So North, fortunate one there, but uh, Squash making it pay. 1-1 one, one to two points. Again, Steins goes early. Dyson has a second crack with Viney in there. Dyson again, bit of strength, kicks it high in the air. Hilton underneath it, good part. Because Anderson went early, and Hilton is playing very well to Steins. He can run on, he's at 50, centering kick. Oh, gee, Neats clever. Still well done, Neats left hand handball, Viney. Quick little give over the top, chance for Phoebe. They've conceded there's a free kick coming back to North Melbourne. Did you pick it up, Jared? No, take it too high, I think, Bruce, just uh, looking at the umpire. King to Fairley, so the D's uh, made a bit of a mess of it. Stein's really wasted that opportunity. His kick wasn't good enough in the end. Blakey's handball held up. Probably could have gone on, Jimmy. He was at 50. Could have run five and then had a pop shot. It's Carey and Primke. Primke started pretty well, but Robert Scott's good kick gave uh, Carey every opportunity a couple of minutes ago. Ashenko all over the top. Rocks, little handball. Obst again. Tried to give it to Cow. Stevens. Cow with a bit of pace. Then a neat little kick to uh, Neeps with him fairly. Robert Scott. And he's pretty happy to see that one run out of play. Scott, extra long, there's Neil Baum. Keeps pretty uh, cool, Barmy, throughout a match. 7-2, to two. Schwass the goal scorer. As Chico takes it out of the air. Kick forward for North Melbourne. Back near the wing. King, tackled well by Matthew Phoebe. Nearly get a free kick, Matthew Phoebe, wouldn't he? It was a good tackle. Quite fair. Took King to the ground and holding the ball. So Matthew Phoebe, who sat most of the game out last week, under a little bit of a cloud during the week. Oh, what a mark, David Neitz! Oh, gee, aren't we treated to some magnificent marking by these two boys, David Schwartz and David Neitz. Schwartz injured at the moment. 
lately into the action. Can't get hold of Lyon. Hilton, a little toe poke. Jimmy Stein's trying to force it clear for his smaller players. Away goes Keenan Reynolds to Schwoz. And North Melbourne into the clear fairly with a bit of space. Kicks it to a vacant area out in the wing. The kick's not going to go far enough. Cowell's able to get back. And then the short kick along the boundary line is all right. He's found Tingay. Tingay off the left foot into the pocket. Looks for Lyon, but Archer did well. Got his fist to it and forced it over for a throw in. Now with uh, both sides settling down, they've just thrown their uh, midfield around a little bit. Dyson's now gone on to Armstrong. There's Dennis Pagan and Rodney Eid on screen. Ops is now picking up Rock. Love it still with Scott. Mashenko a second go. Andy Lovell, Gary Lyon. It was touched off the boot. Left foot by Lyon's close. Across the face. A behind. So Melbourne have had some chances. Hilton from the other pocket on the right. Well, from the same pocket on the right. And Lyon on the left there. Anderson to bring it back in. In his second season. He's done well since coming in uh, halfway through this year. Keeps it low and short to Schwoz. The old one-two, Anderson runs away, gets it to centre wing, Blakey, with him was Hopgood now. Tingay did that well, good kick to Lyon. Now will he go on, Viney running for him, the goal square is vacant. Tingay again. Well, he's not going to come off, surely. Oh, great mark. Courage. Gee, he did run, didn't he? He did provide terrific running there, Stephen Tingay. Well, lately, uh, looked to be in a better position at one stage. Yeah, this is the classic hospital kick or pass. And Tingo missed the body and missed the wall also. If you were coaching the team, would you ask him to get his hair cut? No, I wouldn't. In fact, it was lately that missed and Tingo was the one that grabbed it. He was playing as well as he does. It doesn't matter whether he gets his hair cut. No, I don't think so. Given that a hook and that's a behind. I just wonder in that situation, Jared. I mean, uh, they both went at the footy flat out. Laidley, had he attempted to mark rather than spoil, may have had more chance. Because by spoiling, he probably was at a disadvantage just in that position. Here's Anderson. Gets it to Archer. Well, Archer, he's close to the line. Forced to kick with the left foot. Oh, up high was uh, Stephen Phoebe. Couldn't take the mark. Look at Gary Lyon. Fierce at the football. Kicks it into the pocket. Well done. Beautiful kick. Andy Lovell has marked on his chest. 25 today, Andy Lovell. And he'll be looking for a Melbourne win, I'm sure, to celebrate. He passes it back to Lyon, and Lyon will shoot from a slightly better angle. And you would think, Jarrett, that he should settle and maybe try and drill this from about 35 to 40 metres. Well, if he only kicks it half as good as that last kick to Andy Lovell, this will go straight through the middle. That was just a brilliant kick. I guess players still, this early in the game, trying to assess the conditions here that look very good on screen Lyon kicks for goal and has missed so Gary Lyon kicks his second behind and Melbourne have got five behinds on the scoreboard and in a lot of cases as we see Corey McKernan having a spell on the bench in a lot of cases when you get a fair bit of the football early like Melbourne are kick behinds it may work against you in the final analysis yeah, Brett Ellison has come on and also uh, Swass has got a new opponent in Obst and Cal is picking up uh, Anthony Rock. Schwoss, in fact, gets that kick from the kick in a long one. Oh. Great mark. Yes. Sean Smith plays on quickly to Viney. Had to stop prop. Good to Obst. At 50. Too slow. Did get his kick. Not bad right there. Good grab, though. By Ian Fairley back on the team tonight to Wayne Schwoss, who does play very deep, doesn't he, at both ends of the ground. Back to Stevens, Archer fiddling a bit, Gary Lyon will play. Yeah, Wayne Schwoss uh, does play a big part in North Melbourne's kick-out play, and often he kicks one uh, short to one side of the ground and then picks it up on the other side of the ground and runs it out, but one against three, North Melbourne should have done better than this, and great work there by Gary Lyon, the skipper. Ashenko needs needs trying to take it out of the air. Armstrong's handball. Here's Swass again. Getting lots of kicks. That's effective. Running right there. Steins. It was meant for Phoebe. Well played, Matthew Phoebe. Primke. Got some distance actually, Primke, to set a half forward. Viney rode the beautifully. Touched off the boot. It'll be play on. And Reynolds goes straight for the boundary line and finds it. Good defensive work. This could cost Melbourne their inaccuracy. Five points on the board. They've probably dominated the, the last ten minutes or so of play. 
should have uh, got a couple of goals. Alex Ischenko up against Neitz. Ischenko takes it but couldn't quite control it. North Melbourne defending and will give away another behind. This time it is classified as rush. So not against the poor kicking of the Melbourne side. Demon fans rugged up. We've already seen the uh, weather conditions. And fairly cold lately. Anderson runs on. He's a good kick of the football too, Stuart Anderson. This ball's well out towards the wing. Mark taken by Tingay. Cal, it'll come burning back. Obster's mark, deep at half forward. Kicks into the pocket. Sean Smith, amazing rebound. Sean Smith goes for goal, and he's kicked the goal. A wobbly punt kick, but it's home. Eventually, the Demons, after lots and lots of attacking, score their first goal. They lead by five points. Brilliant passage of play by Melbourne. Rebounding football, 1-6 to 1-1. Smith with the goal. Schwartz got the early goal for North Melbourne. Ashenko. Obst having a very good quarter, though. Terrific tackle by Armstrong on him. Little handball. It's tight in there. King's handball. Stevens punched it away. Roberts. He'll be worried out of it. Glenn Lovett uses Hopgood, and he goes to the boundary line. Roberts off the ground, Danachenko on. Throw in right in front of us. Steins and Dushenko. Dushenko works to the front. Gets the left hand tap. Obst. Hop good. Punched on well by Blakey. Danachenko. Cow. Little one by Rock off the ground. Allison. Dyson. Good Hop Dyson. good. Yeah, the Dyson was good in there. Primke's left hand handle is a beauty. Viney touches it on the ground, runs hard, after him Stevens. left foot centres, good grab by Ross Smith. The Viney idea was good, but now Smith able to turn it, here's a paddock, Stevens should get it on, now Schwoss is in the pocket at half forward, he's got it now, he's a left footer, he's on the right, does kick pretty well on that side, goes to the forward pocket, well played by Sean White. Well, he was a goalkeeper in his hometown of uh, Scotland, or his home country of Scotland, and he certainly used those skills uh, to great effect then. It's probably a goal if it has slipped through. He's a tremendous lunger at the ball, isn't he? Either lunging to try and spoil marks or lunging to clear the ball. Seacamp left it behind, went in after it again. Robert Scott's robbed him of it. Brett Allison's a chance, overrunning it. Dyson off the ground, Glenn Lovett across the full back line. He may find safety. 50 metres from the North Melbourne goal, and the boundary umpire will throw it in. Glenn Lovett, and an interested spectator there, uh, Jarrett. Uh, I suppose a night off. You still, there's no night off in coaching, is there? Nice to see his old team. Johnny but, Northy, yes, terrific coach and a great uh, identity. Playing North next week. Fair enough. Phoebe gets the ball clear, but only as far as his Jenko. Ten pass, well, not quite accurate enough. Into the path of Anderson, able to throw his left foot at it. Getting back Steins. Stephen Phoebe, oh, misunderstanding. Sean White. Well, just a little bit of a misunderstanding there between a couple of the Melbourne defenders, but at least they've forced a boundary throw in. And there's another great identity in Australian rules football, David Cloak, having a look. Steins in the front spot. Trimke having an excellent opening quarter. He's had a fair bit of publicity during the week and he's playing up to it. Neitz was about third grab there. Andy Lovell should chip it over the top. He kicks it pretty well. Gets to Viney. Fairly holds him up. But this is probably not all that bad for Melbourne for the moment because North have got numbers and now Melbourne can get a few down there. Lovell runs on for him. Neitz is at centre half forward. Sean Smith goes now. Lion is stationary. He's going to kick it in the Lion direction and hope he can beat his man one out. But coming across the front, Reynolds. Archer breaks away. Gets it to Ross Smith. It is a very good North Melbourne defence. They're hard to crack at centre wing now. High tackle. Play on call. Little one there by Fairley. Out of play. David King was the guy that was tackled. And then Allison also involved. Yeah, this is a high tackle, isn't it? Looks a bit high, Robbo, of oh. course. But uh, the Melbourne midfield it seems to be uh, pretty well on top at the moment. North Melbourne need a lift in that area. Here's Jenko and Steins. You'd think Jimmy would be better off just having a go at the football. 
Stephen Phoebe tackled by Robert Scott. Ball still there, but it's kicked forward by Ischenko. It just wobbles in towards the centre of the ground. In trouble there with Seacamp, taking it away as Blakey. Blakey goes to full forward. North Melbourne will get the mark here. Carey. A good kick. Penetrating kick by John Blakey. Carey has the ball 25 metres out on a slight angle. And North Melbourne swinging a change. Three and a half minutes left. And it's Pyman onto the ground at the expense of... Anthony Rock. Carey for North Melbourne's second goal. Schwoss kicked North's first. Carey kicks. And it looks ordinary, to say the least. There's Rock, who was uh, just benched, just having a rest, getting Archer onto the ground. Uh, Pyman onto the ground, I should say, but uh, nice long kick from Danilchenko into the forward line. Should have been converted by the skipper. Seacamp gets it to Ops, it's in a half back. Thought he might have gone long that time. To love it, this is Glenn on the left. Pretty good. Tingay, left foot. They've been able to move it very quickly, Melbourne, from one end to the other. Meets a beautiful man. This bike's on fire this afternoon, this evening. I think there was a lot of uh, speculation if he played centre half back. I, I couldn't believe that Melbourne would change their whole side around uh, to counter Carey because the way this bloke's been playing, he's almost in as good a form as the uh, champion centre half forward. And the Demons must be rubbing their hands together, thinking about next year when they've got Swartz back and probably got the best goal to goal line in, in the league. He's been kicking goals too, Jared, in recent weeks. Four, four, two and three in consecutive weeks. 13 in four. That's straight through. Well, the carry let off now becomes quite uh, important because Melbourne pinch a little break at 2-6 to 1-2. Yeah, significant. Uh, Ten points up now, Melbourne. I don't even think that reflects their dominance of this quarter. North Melbourne's got uh, their one and only goal from a terrible error. They really haven't uh, looked the goods at the moment. And hasn't this bloke been fantastic this year? And allow Primke to come into his own. With two and a half minutes left in the first quarter, Melbourne lead by ten points. Stein's up early again. Handball clear. Dyson. Geez, he looks very much like Todd Viney and plays the game like Todd Viney. North Melbourne get it towards forward pocket area. Oh, Sean White, he's tapped it back into the path of Carey. Carey just maybe tried to be a little bit too neat with that kick and it's gone across the face Dennis Pagan Rodney Eade some football experience in that box for North Melbourne and they've got it in their forward pocket wanting a goal late in the first term Steins lays it down Robert Scott was there Primke with some strength Stephen Phoebe's handball was cut off by Carey Pyman there, handball out by Hopgood was excellent to Phoebe. That's Stephen Phoebe to centre wing. Hilton out number to Shenko, one hand, left hand handball good this time to King. Centering kick pretty good. Long mile went early, well played by Wright. Allison crashes through, great tackle, held him up. Hopgood comes away. North Melbourne running a free kick as it coming back, it is. Yeah, this is one area of our game that I think uh, could learn a lot from rugby league. I can't see any problem with a player that grabs a guy around the waist and then the hands just slip down a little bit. I consider that a champion tackle. Well, it did drop down, didn't it? Uh, it was a late... Just waiting for the umpire to go one way. That it was a fairly late call. Yes. No, I just don't think it's... Uh, well, a little bit with Jared there. I reckon the tackle was all right. Well, that was... all spilt free. Well, the, 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 the argument is about danger, but I've never seen a fellow in rugby league get hurt when he's been tackled below the knees. And if that's the reason this rule uh, disallows tackles, well then I think it should be looked at. Allison. See, there's a lot of boos coming, isn't there, for that decision? He's going to kick it from 25 metres out straight in front. He's normally a very accurate kick. Gives it a push. Missed it. Well, you wouldn't read about that. Some would say poetic justice here's the tackle again well the free kick was paid for tripping and there's no doubt that the, the arm did drop down below the knee or around the knee but i think uh, everybody or most people at the ground thought it was just desserts seacamp uh, went short he's got some courage tonight hasn't he and then pushes it out wide 
He's actually had a fairly shaky start seat camp tonight with uh, not only that missed kick early, but a couple of other plays as you go off the ground. 2-6-1-3. Could you believe North have missed those two shots? Go on, Rob, I get into that oh, short kick. Oh, what about the kick? <laughs> oh, <laughs> my golly, I'd have had my heart in my mouth if I was coaching, Jared. Daniel Chinko forces it forward for North Melbourne. In the Longmire direction, the bounce. Well, it was an awkward ball to gather for John Longmire. I think he needs just uh, what, four or five goals, doesn't he, to uh, break uh, eight goals to break Jock Spencer's all-time goal-kicking record for North Melbourne. Maybe a uh, difficult task tonight. Ordinary conditions, but surely he will break it eventually. Melbourne get the ball across their full-back line. Tigay, happy to see it over. His opponent so far is John Blakey. So there's a bit of regard from uh, Dennis Pagan. Tigay's already had uh, five possessions, four kicks and a hand pass. But Dennis Pagan obviously feeling that uh, his game is a dangerous one. The kick by North Melbourne towards the front of the goals has been forced over for a rush behind by Sean White. And that kick coming in, it may have come in from Pyman. Seacamp, who uh, turned 23 yesterday, he might have had a couple of scotches lined up with those previous couple of kick-ins. Well, they do look for the short one, Melbourne, because uh, with North Melbourne's tall timber, it's very difficult to go long and get an advantage. We've got McKernan on one side, Carey in the middle, Daniel Chenko is quite tall also covering the other flank. Well, they've done pretty well, Jared. Some short passing and handballs have finally got it to Steins. Dyson again amongst it to set a half forward. Anderson went hard. Neitz was there. Anderson off the ground. Steins again. Good tackle by Allison holding the footy. It was a throw against Steins. And goes back to Brett Allison. 2 6 1 4. It's been a quarter of uh, wasted opportunities. Melbourne for much of it, and in the last four or five minutes, North Melbourne. Allison comes away and kicks the ball to centre of the ground. Through Obst, then Phoebe, and the siren sounds. So at quarter time, the goal kicker squash for North and Neitz and Smith for Melbourne. It's the Kangaroos 1-4 and the Demons 2-6. Yeah, we just saw uh, Obst dropping that mark before quarter time siren he's had actually nine possessions and he's one of the Melbourne midfielders that's uh, well on top of his uh, couple of opponents he's had and I think Dennis Pay can be uh, quite concerned at the moment North Melbourne don't appear to be playing with the confidence that they have done uh, so when they've been playing well this season but at quarter time there wouldn't be any panicking in, panicking in either camp and uh, both coaches the affable uh, Neil Baum as he strides out will be coming out to uh, just chew their blokes up and hopefully uh, get an advantage. There's Mary Toomey just looking after the physio there, looking after Sean White. I think it is, or it could be one of the Phoebes, just uh, warming up the back. So quarter time, it's North 1-4, Melbourne 2-6. Start of the second quarter, North 1-4, Melbourne 2-6. Longmire's out at centre half forward and carries it full forward for North. They're going to the right of screen. Good give there by Dyson and Viney through the centre. Steins off the ground, Fairley and Neats. Neats with Fairley. David Neats had a very promising start to this match in the opening term. And it'll be Grant Vernon to bounce the football about 45 metres from Melbourne's goal. Low scoring opening term. The Demons with the edge early. Ashinko gets the tap. Schwoss had a prolific start to the game. Gets the ball into the centre. Allison, quick kick. He's very good at doing that. Primke attacks it. Gets rid of it cleverly to Stephen Phoebe. Uses his brother Matthew Phoebe. He was injured in the warm-up last week at Princess Park and took no part in the game. Good work from Primke uh, once again leading Wayne Carey to the ball. Carey starting about uh, the 25-metre mark and looking to lead towards a goal. Eschenko didn't play all that very well because he was able to run off in Steins and Neitz marks for the fifth time tonight. He's proving to be the key forward in this game. Early days, I know, kicks it to Smith. Goes early, over the back, Gary Lyon, off the ground. Oh. Brilliant, what a goal. A classic. <laughs> We've seen some beauties, Stuart, in that ilk, you know, over the last three or four years. That's one of the best. Yeah, Tony Mudra's had a couple this season that uh, would rank with this one, but boy, what a spectacular goal. 
and it really probably makes up for a couple of the opportunities Melbourne missed in the first quarter. I think North Melbourne are really struggling at the moment. The next five minutes could uh, prove vital. 3-6 to 1-4, 14 point margin. Anthony Stevens only had four possessions in the first quarter. Longmire, handball a bit too fierce there for Matthew Armstrong. Take it away as Dyson. Matthew Phoebe Cowell and then Dyson again. Gets his just rewards for some hard work just a few seconds earlier. Kick to half forward. Fairly at the back, Blakey. Handball over the top. Anderson. Anderson goes further back to Laidley. Laidley across the half back line. Oh. Pretty good contest provided here by Hopkins. Was that a free kick? Holding on, according to Jared Healy. Now Matthew Armstrong sweeps onto his left foot and then gets fairly good distance to kick to half forward. Knocked away from Longmire. Look at the Melbourne players swarming. That's a terrific sign for the Ds. Steins goes in towards the centre. It's taken by Seacamp. Get rid of it quick. He does. Todd Viney gives away a little bit of ground, but Melbourne retained possession, and Sean White's kick just made Andrew Wobst maybe a little concerned, but he was able to grasp it close to the ground. Obst. He's had a few possessions. That's his tenth. The kick goes through. Hilton couldn't take it, but Glenn Lovett can. Brilliant handball. Andy Lovell straightens up, goes for goal, kicks across the face, registers a score just a behind. Could have done better with that one, Andy Lovell. He put himself under pressure. There's North's interchange bench, and you'll see a couple of tall players there. Dennis Pagan perhaps believing they're a little bit top-heavy with Melbourne's plenty of runners. McKernan and Roberts on the bench. But Lovell could have kept running 30 or 40 metres with that ball into the uh, into an open goal. Archer gets it from Anderson. He's been given the job on Gary Lyon in the opening term. Kicks the ball outside 50. Was Allison interfered with? He was. He'll get a free kick. Darren Cowell unhappy. Allison started on the interchange. McKernan came off for him in the opening term. Allison's kicked to centre wing. Carey pushed away by Primke. Steins does a roving as he so often does. He is a unique footballer. Obst. Viney gone. High tackle, free kick. Well, it was high. He was certainly gone because he had the footy, but gee, the tackle was high anyway. lately has got it. To half forward. Longmire at the back. Well played, White, to hold his posse. Now, Tingay on the left foot. Kicks it pretty well to centre wing. Smith, will he take Reynolds on? He does. The handball had the power back to Tingay. Tingay gave away a dummy, kept it low. Centre wing, well taken by Ross Smith. Kick to Longmire was good. John Longmire gets on with it now. Oh, good kick to Daniel Chick. Oh, he's got it. Good. Well play on. Allison spins, turns, handle. Stevens can't get onto the left, holding the footy. That's he's a classic got... example, Bruce, of why you need uh, to be able to kick proficiently on both sides. Stevens there just trying to get onto his left foot rather than going onto the uh, not preferred right. And got ping. Hopgood down to the wing. Blakey tackled by Matthew Phoebe. Ball spills for Anthony Stevens. Armstrong, he kicks it nicely off the left foot. Matthew Armstrong goes long. Just off to the left and scores a behind for the Kangaroos. First score for the night to Matthew Armstrong. And Reynolds is having a spell. And we believe that Mark Roberts is back on the ground for North Melbourne. Sea camp into the pocket, close to the line but it's marked safely by Andrew Obst. Obst goes back across the goal face. Well played, says one of the members. It's Hopgood. Handball over the top, Sean White. Quickly. Matthew Phoebe too high against David King. Matthew Phoebe's free kick. Left half back for Melbourne. Player on his own on centre wing. What's the kick like? Has it got the carry? No. John Blakey chips in and marks in front of Sean Smith. Then runs away, centres the ball, looking for Ashenko. He's got it, the big fella, well done. The gift to Schwarz, can't quite break the tackle. Allison sweeps it, Anderson straightens the body, kicks it to Roberts at the back. He's got a chance to kick the goal in the pocket, across the face, misses the lot out of bounds. Good. Well, it's ironic, Bruce, all the talk about uh, Neitz going to play centre-half back on Wayne Carey at the other end of the ground. We've got uh, Wayne Carey being pushed down now onto David Neitz. Longmire 
and Steins. Stevens back to Blakey. Opsed onto him. Blakey did pretty well in the end. Laidley up in the forward line. Some changes. Stevens' is high ball. Almost to the square. Roberts. Phoebe. That's a good mark, Stephen Phoebe. Against the tide, as we say in AFL footy. And taking the mark running the wrong way and keeping his eyes on it. Well, what about that? Wayne Carey at centre-half back on David Neitz. That is a big shot at this stage of the game with North only one goal on the board. And the man who's their leading goal kicker at the back, Trimke having a big match to Viney. Here's Neitz versus Carey at the back. Now Smith. Ross Smith's left-hand handball is going to miss Anderson out of play. It was a pretty fierce shepherd provided by Wayne Carey there. Neil Barnes, Brett Wells, Richard Griffiths looking on there in the Melbourne coaches box. And they would be reasonably satisfied, you would think. Although the scores are very low at this stage. 3-7 to 1-5. Kick forward for Melbourne in the direction of Gary Lyon. Archer got his hands full. He's a skillful player for a big boat. Gary Lyon is big. Lovely little kick for Todd Viney. And Todd Viney has a chance to score another goal for Melbourne from about 20 metres out, maybe 25 metres. But the angle will be his greatest contention. The good skills on display here from Gary Lyon, but it is important that uh, Viney converts this because if, if they've just got to get more reward Melbourne for their efforts and put a bit bigger uh, gap between themselves and North Melbourne. Because whilst North Melbourne aren't playing well, there's still uh, two and a half quarters to play. And uh, they're not far in front, enough in front at the moment, Melbourne. Uh, ten scoring shots. This is their 11th from Todd Viney. He's missed. So from 11 shots at goal, 3-8. It's a poor return. North Melbourne 1-5. And umpire Steve McBurney having a friendly chat to Jimmy Steins and Alex Eschiko. Stuart Anderson prepares to kick it back into play. Wayne Carey. Making position, he goes short to Fairley, then Schwoss. Slippery little hand pass. Ross Smith's got some space and kicks it out towards the wing. General Jenko needs from the front, unable to. Stevens off the ground. Hopgood, he's got the pace. Longmire to put the tackle on. He shrugs him off, runs away, kicks it neatly towards Smith. The one hand was effective in the end. Neitz has got hold of it, stops, props, has got plenty of time, can uh, steady it with a centering kick. Oh, well played by uh, Dyson to work to the front, just couldn't hold the footy. Schwoss gets it, out to Anderson, this is Stuart Anderson at half back. He is a good kick normally, Primke coming across, and talk about a fellow in form, this bloke has reached his zenith in the last couple of weeks. Concur, wholeheartedly. Short, Andy Lovell at centre wing, the D's are going pretty well everywhere. Yeah, but really signs. on the scoreboard, aren't they? Yeah, good signs. They've got players around the football, which uh, usually indicates that they're all prepared to go and run in support of their teammates. Lovell is on centre wing. His kick will reach nearly to centre-half forward. Contest there. It's punched away. It's Jenko. Hand pass missed its target. Matthew Phoebe chips in. Good play by Hilton. Off to Glenn Lovett. Glenn Lovett. Oh, great goal. Glenn Lovett off the side of his boot. Glenn Lovett kicks his first goal. Melbourne get their fourth, and all of a sudden it's a 21-point margin in well, favour of Melbourne. It was an incredible passage of play because every player was past the uh, half-forward line for North Melbourne. Just have a look at this kick. Well, was it off the side of the boot, or, not, or did he mean it? Whatever it was, it was just a fantastic goal. Going well now, Melbourne, 4-8 to 1-5. I say well now, they've been on top for a while, but they're starting to stretch it on the board. Longmire's mark, important that he gets some touches. Kicks to Roberts, over the back. Primke trying to get back, Daniel Chenko. Off the ground, Primke out of play. Well, he's been given his opportunity this year with the demise of Swartz. Ischenko coming off. Uh, Neitz went to centre-half forward, has proved a great success there. And Primke has held uh, Melbourne together in defence. Well, McKernan's on the ground. Gets the tap down, but it's only as far as Glenn Lovett. King fumbles. Cowell will take it away. Tries to get it as far out wide on the wing as possible. Only got as far as Hilton. He did well. Hand pass. Missed its target. Free kick. Melbourne will take it. Hilton will take the free kick. Handball Tingay. Play on, says the umpire. 
Tingay's kick. He looks for Lyon. He's deep in the pocket. Gathers all right. But the hand pass smothered by Glenn Archer. Good contest between Archer and Glenn Ly uh, Gary Lyon. Lyon has kicked one goal, two. The two behinds could possibly have been goals. Ruck contest, Kerry and Neitz. Neitz tries to squeeze a little kick out. Unsuccessful Armstrong working hard. Blakey across his left shoulder. Back near the wing. Steins and McKernan. Taken away by Anderson. North Melbourne will go forward through Armstrong. Gets good uh, length with his kick to Longmire. Well played, right? Brilliantly done. Longmire and Phoebe back there. Stephen Phoebe still in play. Or oh, Daniel Chenko couldn't get it to Roberts in a hurry. Now Longmire in the pocket. Across the face of goal. Right there, Roberts back. Good mark. Clever mark running back, Mark Roberts. Ball should have been taken now over by Stephen Phoebe down to defence. But Daniel Chenko in. Kicked a lot of goals a couple of years ago, Roberts. Round the body. That looks good. He's got it. Important goal for North, just to steady it a bit. Two goals, five to four, eight. Well, talented young player, Corey McKernan, gets the knockout. Seacamp tackled there by Robert Scott. And the umpire will repeat with a bounce. And Ischenko preparing to come back on. Steins up against McKernan. Steins gets his left hand to it. Ball spills wide. Daniel Chico, good gather. Anderson, his controlling of the football wasn't bad. The kick, uh, he didn't really have much to kick to as Rock comes off and Ischenko goes back onto the ground. So North Melbourne prepared to take a small player off and put a tall put one back onto the ground. And Melbourne's interchange there, key defenders. Primke's come back out to centre half forward and wide down onto uh, Roberts. Little kick by Scott, round the body, level. Allison looked high. Right in front of the Melbourne men, the, the, the players all stopped. The players all stopped. I think they sure though thought that was a free kick. It was a body slam. <laughs> Very descriptive. Right in front of the Melbourne men, is not a good spot to make a blue by the umpires. McKernan and Steins went for it. Scott tries to get through. 4-8 the Demons, 2-5 North. When they first played this year in round two at the Melbourne Cricket Ground, Melbourne had a big lead. North got it back to a respectable margin at half time. It was uh, eight goals to six, eight ten to six three. But and then Melbourne had a good little break again at three quarter time. So North has come from behind once against them this year. The kick by McKernan, Primke just couldn't quite control it. Allison handball out wide, good bounce actually for Melbourne. Gave their defenders a hope. Phoebe never took control of it. Primke after it and a bounce down. So North uh, starting to gather again. You feel here. 2-5-4-8. Roberts getting the last goal for them. This young Danilchenko, still only 19 years of age, took a great mark and kicked a big goal in Adelaide last week. Stein, Scott, Stevens on his right leg, which is his non-preferred, and he kicks the ball out of bounds on the full. Uh, no touch, was it? Thanks, Robo. So it's going to be a throw in in the right forward pocket. So North still well and truly in attack. 2-5-4-8, as we said. Pretty tight game when it's low scoring. You've got a chance coming from behind because you can kick a couple in a hurry. You're right back there, and that's what North are trying to do here. Another bounce. We're about 20 metres away from North Melbourne's goal. Eight and a half minutes left, and uh, Jared, you're pointing out Dyson with Schwoss in the foreground there as they go to rove the pack. Steins and McKernan. Ball hits the ground. Robert Scott trying to crash his way through. Unsuccessful. And it's tight, very, very tight right at the moment. You feel there's Todd Viney and Laidley having a bit of a power struggle. Oh, 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 oh. Be careful, boys. The umpire very close there. Umpire Grant Vernon. But back to the football, which is right in front of North Melbourne's goal. McKernan gets it down. Stevens throws his left foot at it. Has it gone far enough? Well, we question that because we saw a mark paid last week to... Uh, one of the players in the game between Geelong and Melbourne, which uh, surely didn't cover the required distance, but uh, what's happening here? Obster's coming off, Jared. Uh, Steins and McKernan. McKernan gets rid of Steins illegally. Doyle on the ground for Melbourne. Umpire in a great spot. Steins free kick. Goes in short, finds Hopgood. Who quickly runs away, takes his, 
Takes his man McKernan on. Kicks to centre wing. Oh, big fly, Hilton. No free kick given to North. Here's Laidley. Wobbly little kick didn't go far. Lovell's got it. Little left foot is a beauty. To Hilton, should run on. Where's Gary Lyon? He goes down. He kicks it to him. Lyon almost held a beauty against her. Archer. Archer with him all the way. In there also was Carey on the left foot. Here's rebound. He should kick it to Armstrong. Allison, he does. Armstrong could kick a goal. One bounce. Could go all the way. He's got to steady it up. Goes for it now. Leans it back. Gets it to McKernan in the goal square. Who takes the mark? Talk about rebound football from one end to the other. Gee, Bruce, when Matthew Armstrong got the ball on the wing, it was a nearly an obvious pass to McKernan. Big fellow up against the shorter guys in the square. Yes, Hopgood's uh, the one that I meant to say has had a good game, and uh, he was the one at the feet of Corey McKernan. Good work by McKernan, who uh, picked up the turnover pretty quickly and charged for the goals. He could see it was going to end up there. And I just thought Gary Lyon may well have been a little bit stiff to miss out on a free kick at the other end of the ground. McKernan has got it. It's tightening up. His first goal. North have got the last couple. It's 3-5 to 4-8. And this is a turnover we're talking about. Carey uh, just picking up a couple of kicks now in defence. One of Neitz has just stopped running a little bit. Uh, anyway, Armstrong with the long bomb. You could see McKernan. All he had to do was put it in the air. Six and a half minutes left in the second quarter. McKernan, who was on the bench in the early part of this second term, has come onto the ground and had an impact. Ischenko, down to Glenn Lovett, blocked by Matthew Armstrong. Down goes Lovell, tackled, gets it away. Matthew Phoebe's high kick, doesn't get any ground. Dyson down, free kick, advantage is paid. Scott runs away with the ball, goes to half forward, and Lundmeyer has got it, 50 metres from goal. Jim Steins didn't take that centre bounce. He's now gone to the half forward line. He's been picked up by Fairley. Ross Longmire, is... sorry, Jared. If Longmire kicks this, there's only three points in it. It looks pretty good. It's a goal. Longmire kicks his first, much to the pleasure of the North Melbourne fans, and it's three points in favour of the Demons. This is much better play uh, by North Melbourne in the last five minutes. They have looked at the goods. They've thrown their side around. And the forward line uh, is now starting to function, albeit with Wayne Carey up in defence. Good mark and goal here by John Longmire. Back to three points, 4-5, four, 4-8. Four, Neshenko and Doyle, now Stevens out of the centre. North get it to centre half forward again. McKernan there. Alice, a great tackle on him by Primke, I think. Now Longmire sweeps out a handball, gets it to Laidley. Laidley centres the ball or tries to. Roberts is there. At the back was uh, Glenn Lovett. Roberts will appeal for a free kick here, but uh, it would have been a tough one there. As a change, King coming off and Pyman on for North Melbourne. There's Sea Camp under the footy, so Melbourne has seen this. Very handy lead of 21 points eroded with three North Melbourne goals. It's back to a, a three-point game. Primke, well done to Hopgood. Under pressure, gave it up to Blakey. The tackle by Tingay, OK. Daniel Chenko, McKernan. What a good effort by McKernan. He's got it. North in flat. Well, you asked for a bit more at the start of the game from Corey McKernan. He's starting to supply it. Yes, and in the absence of uh, his regular partner in crime, he usually uh, plays second fiddle, but now he's the key forward. And two quick goals from Corey McKernan certainly has uh, thrown this game up for grabs. Now it's Melbourne's turn to fight back. North Melbourne, well, you've got to congratulate them on their last 10 minutes. Really have pulled it out of the fire. Shown a lot of good old North Melbourne spirit have these players in the latter part of this second quarter. From the ruck contest... Nothing produced there, so Peter Carey will bounce. Andy Lovell, Dean Laidley. Some real goers there. Umpire bounces, you can see. 
the condition of the ground it is terrific Lovell forces it forward for Melbourne towards half forward Stein's doing the work there so is Carey well done Blakey but it's been dispossessed by Matthew Phoebe out into the path of Hilton Hilton's kick oh Ross Smith must have lost sight of that nearly you feel but he's able to recover his position kick it back towards the 50 meter line Blakey and Tingay Tingay has got the free kick and that was a 50-50 one in my opinion Tingay kicks to the front of the square the contest the mark not taken ball spills for Anderson Anderson composed handball over the top Scott you're in trouble Anderson that's deliberate isn't it absolutely no free kick Anderson ducked as he knocked it clear bit of a problem also for Melbourne down there in the goal square Robbo with uh, four big blokes all going for the one grab nobody uh, on the deck boundary throw in Doyle and Ischenko Archer can't get past Tingay dragged off the football by Blakey gets another free kick Stephen Tingay it's good work by Tingay he knew that uh, Blakey was sweating on him so rather than taking possession he just tapped the ball in front of him and then threw the arms back and uh, drew the free kick Tingay eight kicks two handballs good producer kicks from uh, not much of a preparation gets good distance I think he's kicked the goal it's got the distance Tingay kicks his first goal on an important one from the point of view of Melbourne because North had kicked the three previous goals and there's the three once again uh, there was a tough one Perhaps it could have been play on, but uh, was certainly there. Just have a look at uh, John Blakey there. Jumps off the mark. I always think it just invites the bloke to run around you once your feet leave the ground. Melbourne back in front. 5-5-5-8. Five, 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 Steins went very early. Armstrong caught by Hilton. Lovett goes off the ground. Glenn Lovett. Oh, Carey. Well played against Neitz. See, Nitz hasn't taken too many marks since Kerry's been down there. In fact, his five marks were before Kerry went to centre half back. Well, I wonder if he'd put Prinky to centre half forward and Nitz to centre half back. Big mark by Longmire. Gee, Nitz was hard at Kerry there too when he kicked the footy. Longmire kicks it to full forward. McKernan sets himself, gets underneath it. Roberts almost. Still a chance. Allison off the ground and behind. 5 6 5 8. Neil looking on Neil Barn, the uh, Melbourne coach, Greg Wells, also in there. 38 to 36, Seacamp short to Hopgood. Now, something's happened here. Seacamp's run over the line, I think. So Marcus Seacamp's having a bit of a horror night as far as kick-ins are concerned. And there's going to be a bounce on the point of the 10-metre square. McKernan at the back, Roberts cool. out of the ground. Fortunately for Seacamp, he was able to touch it on the way through, and it's a behind. I think he might let one of the Phoebes kick it in. 5 7 5 8. Gary Lyons come out to centre half forward now with uh, Neitz and Carey also there. And at full forward for Melbourne, there's Greg Doyle and Sean Smith. And it was Stephen Phoebe that kicked it in and found Dyson. Dyson. He's probably just behind centre-half back. He goes into the centre. Lovell all on his own. Gee whiz, he can go down the ground. Gets close to the man attacking from just in front. Kicked it high. Chance for Hilton. Little hand pass Lyon. Lyon's vision. Not bad, Neats. Getting back Terry. Well done. Defending desperately, lately. Kicks it high. I think North would be happy if it bounces over. It's not going to. Tingay. Some space, handball, a little short. Daniel Chinko provides a contest with Pyman. Off the ground, Stephen Phoebe. Lately, terrific stuff. Kicks down in the direction of Mark Roberts. Play on, says the umpire. And Longmire, can he keep it in? Handball over the top, looks for Roberts. No, it's gone over, according to the boundary umpire. And the emergency umpire, Andrew Coates, having a chat there to Stephen Tingay and John Blakey. And I just wonder whether it'd be worth Neil Baum pushing uh, Neitz right down into the forward line, very deep, just to get Carey right out of that uh, half-back line where he's starting to dominate. Free kick this time to uh, North Steins against Ashenko, who can't believe it. Runs away, Steins almost ran out of room in the end. Here's Neitz and Carey again. Neitz front spot, Carey able to get the... Uh, 
tackle or the punch away, spoiled. Schwartz looked to be leg, no free kick. Blakey was able to hold it up and get a handball. Viney onto it, stop prop. Hilton's hands were good. Oh, well done. Steins, a little toe poke almost played by Archer with strength. Carey having a blind and out centre half back. That one though, going straight back. And marked by Stephen Phoebe. Phoebe goes in short. Dyson was almost off. Then Felt Allison can kick it across the ground to Cowell. He'll run off long my here. Then goes to half forward, looking for Smith. The two Smiths it is. Now chance. Matthew Phoebe, not a good kick. And the North Melbourne pressure came off in the end. And Melbourne out of play, right forward pocket. They lead by one point. And we're inside the final minute of the first half. 5-8 to 5-7. Lion and Archer there. And Doyle and Fairley. Lion got rid of Archer, then got tackled strongly by Fairley. And a bit of a stack up in the end. Players coming in strongly. Gary Lyon there, Ross Smith, Glenn Archer, another Melbourne player on the bottom. Kevin Dyson. And Grant Vernon's going to bounce it up. Now, one umpire has spoken to the other. And I think the blood rule, Ashenko coming off for the blood rule. So here's a situation with uh, less than a half a minute remaining in the first half. Ashenko coming off the ground. There's going to be a bounce down about 15 metres from Melbourne's goal, and they lead by points. Yes, yeah, so just uh, expanding on the business with Meats and Carey, I just think that uh, they could take the best player in the game uh, that many would think out of it totally. By just putting Neitz in a forward pocket. Now, I know you're sacrificing uh, Neitz's game, but he has been down in this last uh, 15 minutes. Carey well on top. So, play restarts. Doyle to go with it. Tries to lay it to Gary Lyon. Good shot by Lyon. What a goal! He's a champ. He has kicked two fantastic goals in this second quarter. Yeah, great solo effort there by uh, Gary Lyon. Kicked it with the outside of the boot. Just pinched this ball. There it is with strength and pretty good footwork. And that was just classic goal sense. He knew the goals were there. Onto the side of the boot, being tackled by Archer. And pretty jubilant uh, as he went to the ground. Pretty handy too, Jared. At 6-8 to 5-7, back in the centre. You can see the time clock there. Armstrong, McKernan, out wide to Laidley. The siren sounds and talk about uh, shifts in power in this game. Melbourne completely on top at 4 8 to 1 5. North then kicked the next four goals to rest the lead at 5 5 to 4 8. And then Melbourne's been able to kick two goals since then to two points. And with that late goal by Lyon, his second, the D's now, Jared, have a, a little cushion again at 6 8 to 5 7. Yes, uh, better to go in, in front than uh, behind, but I'm sure North Melbourne will be far happier now knowing that uh, they've got what it takes. They uh, seem just very, I guess, still at ease at the start of the game. They weren't attacking the ball. A couple of positional moves by uh, their coach, Dennis Pagan, has certainly paid off. I still think they're perhaps not quite winning uh, through the centre of the ground, but when Jim Steins went to the centre half forward position, Doyle came on. They did get the ball out of the centre a lot more easily, North Melbourne which resulted in Corey McKernan getting a couple of goals. Well, it was eight points at uh, quarter time. It's now seven at the long break. Five, seven to six, eight. <laughs> Start of the second half on Friday night football at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. North of five, seven, Melbourne six, eight. Wayne Carey starting at centre half back where he finished the uh, first half quite spectacularly on David Neitz. Sea camp, a little one. Stephen Phoebe after it with Anthony Rock, who's been on off the ground quite a bit tonight. That's out on the fall. So here's a good break for North Melbourne. Phoebe will be disappointed. Ball coming in quickly from Rock. Hasn't had a lot of touches. Centre half forward. McKernan was good in that second term. Kicked a couple of goals. And it's going to be a bounce about 55 metres from North Melbourne's goal. Ob's terrific early, then went to the interchange. He had six kicks, six marks, six handballs. 
saw our umpires a moment ago on screen. McKernan and Stein, Schwoss off the ground. With him is Viney and out of play. Schwoss early terrific. Second quarter he was just a little quiet as we have another look at the north bench there. Daniel Jenko, Pyman and Keenan Reynolds. And Wayne Schwoss, a very important player, Bruce, if North Melbourne are going to get it, uh, some chance in this game. Kick towards the centre of the ground. Good mark taken by Big Alexis Jenko. Kicks it forward. Short, the mark taken by Anderson. Anderson. His kick across the half-forward line. He looks for Longmire. Well done. Good lead by Longmire. Good kick provided by Anderson. And Sean White, uh, not much he could do. Well, he's well known for his uh, skills, Anderson, his short career, and that was a pinpoint pass that uh, gave John Longmire every opportunity out in front, allowed him to run onto it. And John Longmire just appears to be really growing in confidence with his marking over the last couple of months. He kicks from 45 metres, and he kicks accurately. He's got two. He becomes the second multiple goal scorer for North Melbourne. McKernan kicked two goals in the second quarter, and it's a point in favour of Melbourne. Yeah, there's Sean White, just uh, allowing Longmire that extra couple of metres. Just too much latitude, and the punch just coming a little bit late and inaccurate. So now Melbourne have got to stand up and withstand the challenge from North Melbourne. There's the Melbourne bench on screen. Brett Lovett still to get a run. Greg Doyle. And young Uze. 6-7, six, 6-8. Six, so Lovett and Uze yet to be used. Eshenko out of the centre, rock underneath it. Oh, bad mistake there. Longmine rock running into one another. White's handball put the pressure on Seacamp. Did pretty well actually to get it away. Well played Armstrong against Tim Gay. Then the tackle on Stevens was excellent. The kick by Cow back into the heart of the centre square. Phoebe was there. Opportunity off the ground by Hilton. Doesn't go all that far. Laidly under pressure, ripped away, gets the free kick. See, yeah, the rock long by a clash show was a bad blue, Bruce, but uh, in some respects it's a good mistake because it does reflect that uh, North Melbourne are pumped up and going at, all, at the ball at all costs. Glenn Lovett very cleverly spoiled uh, Blakey there. Tingay chips away. Anderson couldn't quite. Stephen Phoebe gets it about 80 metres from goal. Kicks the ball into centre half. Well, good kick to Smith. <laughs> Kerry couldn't quite cut it off. And Smith is so quick on the run, was able to take a very comfortable chess mark. And here's one of the Phoebes just spinning around on his right foot. And a pretty good shot to Sean Smith, who's already kicked a goal. Melbourne's first, in fact. Kicks from about 49 metres. Not quite going to make it. Has Lyon taken the mark? Or is I think it's a behind. <laughs> free kick, free kick I think. A free kick to Gary Lyon. Yes, and he might have hurt himself here, Gary Lyon. Just holding his face. Well, that's why he's holding his face. You uh, got to give the benefit of the doubt, obviously, to the defender in terms of uh, intent. But, uh, gee, don't they cop it? We saw John Longmire cop a hard one here three weeks ago. And the crowd have just watched the replay on the big screen. Gary Lyons having a good talk to Grant Vernon. You know, I think that's perhaps where the tribunal could come out and say, well, look, we are looking at defenders who use the swinging arm to defend the ball. And uh, let's just have a clarification as to whether it's legit a legitimate spoil. Well, that's a bad effort for Lyon, but you've got to excuse him, obviously. He's probably got double vision at the moment. It is a growing ten, a trend in uh, defensive work, the uh, going for the football with a swinging arm. Well, the only thing you can say there is that Archer's a pretty poor judge because he missed the footy by a long, long way. A kick back from the left back pocket. McKernan got a left hand to it. Matthew Phoebe gets it back inside 50. This is uh, Hilton, little left foot kick by that player. Obst in a bit of trouble, able to nearly control the football. Glenn Lovett, a struggle for possession at uh, half forward for Melbourne. Dyson, kick quickly by Neats. Close to the line, it'll trundle over for a throw in in the right forward pocket for Melbourne. Fans rugged up, cold conditions at the MCG, but we have been blessed. It is absolutely bucketed down 
this afternoon here in Melbourne. And the football ground is in terrific condition. Anthony Stevens, a kick back towards the wing. It's gathered here by Matthew Phoebe, Stephen Phoebe. A bad fumble by Dyson, Armstrong, McKernan, Schwoss. Now Laidley gets a little bit of space for himself, kicks back towards the wing. Gather was brilliant by Sean White. Short kick is effective, and he finds Matthew Phoebe deep at right half forward. He should go fairly long, he does. Out into the path here of Smith, good mark. Well, Fairley's having a pretty dirty night by his standards. He was uh, taken out of it early by David Neitz, and now Sean Smith is proving a problem for him at full forward. Full forward, forward pocket, whichever you like. Sean Smith kicks for goal from 40 metres. It's not a bad kick for distance, it's across. No, it's not, it's Neitz. He's marked right along the side of the goal square, and only a matter of three metres from the goal line proper. Well, this is a real uh, Royce Hart type of mark, just floating across the front of the pack. Everybody else was backing back, waiting for the big pack uh, and the high flyers to jump on them. Neitz just uh, timed it perfectly. Bruce, you talked about Neitz being a goal kicker. Uh, if he gets this, his second goal for the night could be important. In the wrap-up, he's kicked accurately, he's kicked two. Melbourne squeeze out a seven-point margin again as Big Alex Ejecto has a little bit of a dust-up with Kevin Dyson. Andrew Coates into the action again, but the Demons lead again by seven points. And an important goal for his confidence also, David Neitz. He really did uh, get cut up in that last ten minutes of the second quarter. But now with a goal on the board, his confidence will be skyrocketing. 6-7, seven, 7-8, seven, nip and tuck, very tight game here. Melbourne did lead by 21 points in the second quarter, but uh, North kicked four in a row. Now Laidley, quick kick to centre wing. Blakey, onto it, around the body. Cow has to sit and wait, Allison has the run. She Cow did a good job. Allison had the jump on him and Cow accelerated into the footy and took the mark. Kicks it wide off, didn't control it, but able to take it with a good shepherd behind play. Then runs away, kicks the ball neatly to centre half forward. Hilton has had a fair bit of the football, kicks it out wide. Viney can get it the hop, good with a swinging handball, but it's held up by Schwartz. Schwartz had a real feel for the game there, because Viney could have been away. Now Viney to the pocket, Lyon the challenger. Oh, that's a clever bit of play by Lyon, just unable to hold it. And out of play about 45 metres away. Still feeling the effects, Gary Lyon. And Melbourne supporters out in force. Two years ago, Schwoss would have been penalised for wasting time with that little tackle. Yes, the little uh, interpretations, the nuances have changed over the years, haven't they? As uh, the way umpires just interpret certain situations. The game evolving in many ways. Jim Steins at centre wing. He's kicked towards Carey and Neitz. Good battle there. Lovell held up by Ross Smith. Little one off the ground. Doesn't go all that far. Viney with courage. Stevens with him. Melbourne have been able to get to the fall of the footy a lot tonight. Tingate's quick kick to centre half forward. Gary Lyon impeded. Goes hard. Juggling Mark Carey. He's going to be paid it. Had a fair bit of it. Fair enough. Yeah, Melbourne fans not happy, but uh, no doubt that was a mark. Let's just make sure it was. Well, I reckon he had first bite of it, and no doubt he had the second. The contest uh, just behind the wing. The ball kicked forward into North Melbourne's attacking half. Quick hand pass by Stephen Phoebe. Steins is on the end of it. Steins a bit of an up and under, getting there and taking the mark is Neitz. He goes into the pocket. Running nicely for him in support was Obst, and Obst is marked within scoring distance for Melbourne. He's just starting to move around a bit more now, Neitz. Just taking that one uh, at full tilt. At five metres he had uh, on Wayne Carey on that occasion. Importantly, the ball was delivered well to him. Seven marks to Neitz, 12 possessions and two goals. But this is Obst. He gets the distance, but not the accuracy. And a disappointing finish there for Melbourne. A behind kick by Andrew Obst. His first score so far tonight. And the margin is eight points in favour of Melbourne. Dean Laidley. 
to kick it back in for North Melbourne. And Melbourne setting up with their zone with Lyon and Steins, all big players across the 50. Carey was the target, Armstrong got it, Eschenko just missed the body, back to Carey, whipped out a handball to Armstrong, gets it out to King, good footy, King sidestep, still King, kept it, kicks it in the air to centre half forward, Ball then hits the deck, Seacamp, comes out again, Rock, Allison, he can split away, couldn't quite split the defence, play on court, Phoebe's little one to Seacamp, back to Ashenko, well done Hilton against the taller man, a couple of Melbourne players, love it, and Hilton got caught up, Laidley stood there bravely, spun out of it, got it towards Armstrong at half forward. Has Longmire all alone, not a good kick. And Primke was able to hold it up. Then Hopgood being hurled on to. Game going on. Roberts there. Seacamp tucks it in underneath and goes straight to the boundary line. It's still in play. McKernan tackled by Schwoss. Hopgood in trouble. And it's a bit lucky there, Hopgood, in the end. It's going to be a bounce. Well, I guess, Jared, uh, if there are some 50-50 decisions to be given by the umpire, they probably are better off just letting the play flow. Oh, I agree with you, Robert, particularly uh, within the 50-metre zone. And that's exactly what happened in that passage of play. There could have been two or three free kicks, but the umpire deciding now to bounce the ball about 25 metres from the North Melbourne goal. McKernan gets a right fist to it. It goes back in the direction of Matthew Phoebe. He has been decked. back pocket for Melbourne and he kicks it out near the wing Steins left behind David King can he control it not too bad but uh, not really for Stevens table to get clear there and the umpire will call for a bounce umpires Peter Carey Steve McBurney and Grant Vernon Jimmy Steins and Alex Jenko ball goes in the Schwoz direction but it's Armstrong to kick it forward it'll land 50 metres from North Melbourne's goal Longmire nearly took the mark Armstrong got it back again oh. but by gee that was a good tackle wasn't it tackle has been uh, pretty ferocious from both sides this quarter and that was an absolute beauty from Obst well he's a very very good uh, negative type player Andrew Obst he's been able to match up on quite a few difficult opponents over the years North Melbourne get it now to within 30 metres of their goal in trouble Cow tackle wasn't bad, Obst in strife, Schwoss has been good in this little contest and the ball spills for a throw in just inside the 50 metre line for North Melbourne the Melbourne uh, coaching staff there looking on little give by Primke Phoebe, chance for King on the left foot, not bad to the front of the square, Longmire had a good go at it, then puts a reasonable tackle on Cow got it from Seacamp, close to the line, it's out in the fall. Just outside range, you'd think, Schwoz to take it. Goals are very hard to get at the moment. Into Armstrong, centering kick, need off the boot, Longmire there. Matthew Phoebe's quick kick away. Laidley should get onto it. Hilton and Carey chasing hard. Laidley goes to the pocket. Looking for Rock, had uh, not many touches, gets a free kick. A couple of kicks uh, in this term, one out of bounds on the fall against Lefebvre, and this one against Dyson. Rock at about 55, kicks the ball towards the square. Steins comes over the back and belts it out of play. Schwarz saying, how about a free kick? And if you're just wondering uh, about Wayne Carey being up in the fall line, he's actually uh, just... Bolted down there from centre half back, but he's now back at centre half back on Neitz, and there's the centre breaks for the quarter. McKernan can't get his right foot to it. Kick clear by Todd Vidy. Out the direction of Lovett. He's harassed there by Robert Scott. Well done by Scott. No, well done by Lovett. He went back in and had another go at it. Not rewarded. Stevens must get a free kick, surely. That was too high. And and surely if you try and run through two players, Robert, you should be penalised for holding the ball. Well, 
It's Stevens Jarrett with the ball. Umpire has given him the free kick, and eventually North Melbourne score a rush behind. I don't know whether we can go back over the incident that you were talking about, but uh, on the scoreboard, Melbourne lead by seven points. It is a tight and dour struggle at the MCG. Friday night football. The kick in finds Darren Cowley's in the left back pocket for the D's. Had a lot of touches tonight, Cow. This will be his 11th kick. Still close to the boundary line. Goes over Viney. But Sh uh, Schenke gets back. Hamble very slow to Blakey. Set him up. Viney decided not to put a tackle, but actually bumped Blakey over the line. And a throw in. Blakey suggesting was in the back. And here's what I'm talking about. Just trying to barge through players. Well, he was given an opportunity to get rid of it. Surely that was uh, a penalty. Stein's well done. Down to Stephen Phoebe. Stephen Phoebe to centre, into the centre, I should say. Hilton was there with Laidley. Neats breaks the tackle very well. Glenn Lovett to Hilton. Now Gary Lyon leads. Hilton kicks it to him. It was a terrific bit of movement, wasn't it? And Lyon is capable of kicking the goal. It'll take a very good kick, but the captain is capable. He's kicked two outstanding goals, both improvised tonight. One off the ground where he kept it low underneath his opponent and the other one from a ruck throw in. And he kicks right on 50. It's a beautiful kick. He's a magnificent player. He's one of the really great players of the game, Gary Lyon. Eight goals, nine to six goals, eight. So back at the centre, the ruck contest. Melbourne have swung a change as uh, the ball is coming back to the centre. And I think uh, it's young Uze, Jared, that's uh, come onto the ground. Yeah, for Glenn Lovett, who I think may be injured. We'll hear from Dipper. Anderson squeezes a kick out. Terrific stuff provided by Dyson. Made the ball his objective. Seacamp. Ball handling. Pyman in trouble. Schwoss. Schwoss still looking for the free kick. Wait till the whistle's blown, Wayne. Pyman again goes in after the football. And now he pays the free kick. Well, it will go to Pyman, but I just felt as though Wayne Schwoss was uh, looking and looking and looking at the umpire there. And the fresh face of Robert Pyman. Hasn't played a senior game since, uh, what, some time in the middle of last year. Still and he's had a lot a of trouble with uh, injuries, I think, isn't he? This, uh, he has, yeah. Stress fractures in the line, I believe. Also, it looks like he's done a lot of weights. Kick across the square. And it's forced through for... No, it's a free kick. Well, it was going to be a behind. But the umpire, the uh, central umpire, has awarded a free kick against McKernan to Sean White. His short kick finds level in the right back pocket. Takes his time, nearly run down by McKernan, got the kick in, only as far as Oshenko. It's worked hard, the big fellow Oshenko. At half forward, reasonable kick to full forward, and McKernan's long arms. And he's not too happy with Primke. Behind of North Melbourne, just starting to take its toll uh, on Melbourne. You see McKernan doing well, just lurking across uh, the half forward line. In fact, he's now running to the bench. And then, of course, the big arms of uh, Corey McKernan have been uh, pretty important on a couple of times, but uh, we just want to be a little bit careful on that occasion because if they had landed properly, very lucky, I'd say, it may well have been reversed. To spoil him, uh, the defenders are going to have to run at him because they're flat-footed and he's just too tall, isn't he? Yeah, at best, uh, they're going to have to go for the elbow to break the arm. McKernan goes for his third goal. He's going well, McKernan. He's kicked three goals tonight. As they've done all night, North come back. 7-8, Melbourne 8-9. And Ian Fairley back onto the ground. Corey McKernan going to go into the forward line. There. You see here just a little poke punch, a pretty poor performance there, there from Paul Pripke at trying to spoil. And whilst there was a, a little bit of aggression shown there, I don't think that warranted too much more than that. Uh, what the umpire says, and down on the boundary line, Big Dipper, you've got an injury yeah, report Jared, for uh, Unfortunately, Ben Lover, he's always had these hamstring injuries, and once again, it's a hamstring. Well, that's a fairly crucial blow for Melbourne. You would think he's done pretty well, Glenn Lovett. Chance here for Obst. Overruns the football. And 
the umpire will bounce once again. Well, I look at his stats, uh, Jared, I can't believe Glenn Lovett's only had three kicks and three handballs, three tackles. And Wayne Carey has uh, made the move with Fairley going to centre-half back. Wayne Carey coming onto the ground, uh, coming back to his normal position centre-half forward. Free kick against McKernan, trying to shove Steins out. <laughs> How many times do you see that happen during a game of footy these days? Don't know how they pick those kicks out. Steins kicks it out wide. Melbourne currently lead by seven points. That was the margin at halftime. Stephen Phoebe up towards Neitz at the back. Ross Smith, very dependable. Kicks the ball long distances. That one to centre wing. Had a fair bit on it. Steins has to give it to his mate White. Does it pretty well. Sean White away on the left foot. Gets it well inside 50. Lyon tries to take a Gary Ablett type mark. And Neitz there still with the footy. Longmire is new opponent. So, firstly, Wayne Carey after Ian Fairley, and now John Longmire picking up David Neitz. Longmire there, Neitz just got the tap away. Laidley tripped over the top, certainly wasn't intentional. I thought he just ran over a leg himself, and, but got the free kick. Didn't look to be much in that one. It's risky this. Longmire's got it. He has to caught the ball pretty well, Longmire, since quarter time. To Reynolds. Reynolds is centre half back, pops it up. Stephen Phoebe courageously, because he must have known the big timber went far away. Danger. Carey can make them pay. Matthew Feeble, he couldn't that time. And Seacamp sweeps it to Cow. Cow's got a little bit of space here at right half back. Gets uh, a good kick in towards half forward. May come bouncing back. Matthew Armstrong, don't know what who that, that was aimed for. Oh, top effort by... Well, who's going to be awarded the mark? King was good, so was Pingo. And the umpire decides it's a line ball and he will bounce. Have a look. Well, it really was a terrific contest between both players. And a great and decision. a pretty good decision in the finish. But we've got the advantage of that <laughs> slow-mo replay. Obst, Steins, held up a little bit. Ball spills free. Viney across his left shoulder into the pocket bounce all important comes back to Archer fierce at the football so was Gary Lyon and Anthony Stevens off the ground goes down the line chance for Viney again he's got a little bit of space slips able to recover his position short kick is all right the mark is taken by Gary Lyon it's been a great contest between Lyon and Archer Lyon's got three goals if he gets a couple more he probably uh, gets Gets uh, nominated the winner, but uh, boy, Archer's been tough at the ball and uh, restricted Lyons somewhat. Down to two minutes left in the third quarter. Gary Lyons kicked to within scoring distance for Melbourne. It spills. Lovell. Chance there for Sean Smith. And Yamuze slaps it onto his left foot. And scores a behind for the Demons. Adam Uze. Youngster in his first year. Murray Bush Rangers, coached by Kelly O'Donnell last year. Melbourne lead 8-10, North Melbourne 7-8. Two minutes left in this third quarter. Lady's got it. Goal either way, pretty important here. Melbourne could pinch a little cushion or North could get right back to square one. Ross Smith at half back. Again goes long. Carey the target. With him, Primke. He's had a good duel, that one. Primke beat him early and then Carey did very well on Neitz. Viney gets it to Dyson. Dyson gets a good kick. It's down the ground. This is a bad mistake. Lyon will take a free kick. For, I think it is, yes, Gary Lyon. Yes, Kevin Dyson brought down. Absolutely nobody in the square for Melbourne. Wayne Schwoss again, the culprit. Well, there wasn't much in the bump. But I think the fact that he left the ground probably made it look a little bit worse than it actually was. Ryan going for his fourth goal after that relayed free kick. He's got it. So Gary Lyon kicked two in the second quarter. A couple in the third. I think Schwoss is coming off the ground. Well, obviously for disciplinary reasons. But you really should think that uh, Wayne Schwoss should be going for the smother of the ball. Bumping a man there is irrelevant over the ball trying to smother it would be a far smarter and effective thing to be trying well you 
doesn't have to be a Philadelphia lawyer to work out what Dennis Pagan had said there to uh, one of his more responsible players, Wayne Schwoss. North Melbourne get it clear. That's a good mark taken by Fairley. A sign of character, Jared. If you're going bad, you get switched to the other end of the ground and you can do something in a team effort. Yeah. And fairly good mark. Yeah, excellent. When you, particularly when you come by the bench. Well, he's kicking from 50 Ooh. metres. Got a little bit too close to the man on the mark. Up and under. Into the square. Hopgood in trouble. Hand pass. Todd Viney to no one in particular. Sweeps it wide. Tingay goes to the line. That might be out on the full. Well, Stephen Tingay was just trying to dribble it over the line. And the free kick is with Allison. Allison goes in towards half forward. A bit short. Melbourne able to... Uh, Defend, but this is King, gathers at 50. King goes for goal. Great kick, great goal, David King. Well, this is a tight tussle. We're down close to three-quarter time, and it is back to an eight-point margin in favour of Melbourne. And he's a pretty good player, King. He does this particularly well. He goes in and out of the side occasionally for North Melbourne, but uh, this is his strength. A quick sprint, bursts away to the footy, and uh, often a very good shot at goal. Pretty excited North Melbourne players as David King kicks his first goal, and North Melbourne get their eighth. McKernan, Lovell, contest, Todd Viney, dragged to the ground, Matthew Armstrong, Pyman can't get clear. Viney gets it to Hilton. Melbourne go forward. Hilton's Carry. kick finds Lyon. Lyon marks 30 metres out. Very, very slight angle. So Gary Lyon may get those couple of goals you were speaking about, Jared, against Glen Archer. Well, the last one was a give-me, but he certainly earned this one. Good burst out of the centre by Melbourne, and excellent delivery to Gary Lyon. Sets him up for another one. The siren has sounded. You can hear it there. Three-quarter time. Lyon goes for his fifth goal. Melbourne with some breathing space. Gee, Lyon, you're a genius. Demons lead, he kicks them up, and their fans are pretty happy. As they hold that advantage at three-quarter time, Neil Baum comes down to address his players, and he's got something fairly positive to go into the last quarter with. Yeah, particularly after the goal that uh, we just see developing here. Good hassling in there by Phoebe. Gets the ball to Hilton, who uh, hasn't got the ball all that often tonight, but when he has, he's done particularly well, and that was just a beautiful pass to his captain who didn't let him down so three-quarter time Melbourne have got a 14 point break 10 10 to 8 8 start of the final quarter at the Melbourne cricket ground Melbourne lead by 14 points 10 10 to North eight goals eight Steins very early against the Schenko fine he's been good sweeps the handle Brett Lovett on the ground Glenn Lovett by the way injured with a hamstring Longmire in defence, little give, puts Archer under a bit of pressure and kicks the ball out of play. Reminder that in round two this year, Melbourne led by 15 points at uh, three-quarter time and we're run over. Dipper, what's the situation? Well, Tingo's uh, had a corky since the first quarter and unfortunately uh, a three-quarter time was caught up with him. Well, Tingay and Glenn Lovett both sitting it out to the prime movers for Melbourne, so that's a bit of a blow. Quick kick by Brett Lovett, he's second. And Andy Lovell takes a mark uncontested in the end. Pretty handy though, Bruce, when he can swing Brett Lovett onto the ground. He's, uh, he's a class act, Brett Lovett. Had a lot of problems with, uh, I think it was a finger injury uh, this year, which has kept him out uh, for most of the year. But, uh, I mean, he's a state of origin player, a best and fairest winner. Handy bench player. Well, this would make it tough. It looks good. He's got it. North. Not quite the biggest margin of the night, but within a point of that, 11-10 to 8-8. Yeah, good goal for Melbourne, this one, just uh, swinging the ball quickly onto the boot. And uh, good conversion. But certainly North Melbourne not out of it yet. Uh, we saw them come back in the second quarter pretty quickly. And the play in the centre of the ground. Brett Lovett's got it again. But a free kick is going to North Melbourne. And it will go to Matthew Armstrong. So North Melbourne with the job ahead of them now. The kick across the half-forward line. Carey early. 
taken by King, dragged to the ground, gives it back to Keir, uh, Gary. Hand pass into the path of Allison. Can he shrug the tackle? Went to no one really in particular. Put a lot of pressure on Rock. Rock was able to kick with his left foot to the front of the goals. Brett Lovett again. Allison. Ball rebounds. Back to Ods. Running hard with Sean White. Gets it back towards the centre of the ground. Contest here. Neitz has got it. Got the handball away. Only as far as Stevens. Stevens wide. Mark is taken by David King. He plays on quickly. Kicks it well inside 50. North Melbourne. Nearly the mark to Fairley. McKernan takes it. And then hooks the kick high and wide. Carey not paid the mark because it didn't go the required distance. And the umpire will bounce about 25 metres out from the North Melbourne goal. And boy, do they need a goal. Jimmy Steins directing traffic. McKernan, Carey, Armstrong there for North Melbourne. Steins takes it with the left. Todd Viney tackled. Anthony Stevens, can he break it? Yes, he can. Gets his left foot to it. Kicks it to the front of the goals. Now a chance. Nearly taking it was Armstrong. Head first was Stephen Phoebe. And he's going to get a free kick. Tackled a bit high there by Ian Fairley in the last line of defence for Melbourne. And I'm sure Ian Fairley would uh, be saying, well, he ducked his head and led uh, with the head. Trim King stood his ground pretty well. Brett Lovett's had an immediate impact. Great kick to Hilton. Hilton away. Pops it up, not bad to Lovell, had the half volley at Ross Smith, Lovell important ball, Lovell's handball only as far as Stuart Anderson to John Longmire playing in defence as he's done for a fair bit tonight, back to centre wing, ball ricochets, he was legged then Stephen Phoebe, I think the advantage given, Matthew Phoebe, not much advantage to Melbourne, David King off the ground out of play, it's 8-8 North, 11-10 Melbourne, both teams in the 8, Stephen Phoebe saying having a wry smile there. Can't work out the uh, advantage rule there, Melbourne. 20 points in front. North, if they want to stay in the first division, as far as real contenders are concerned, concerned this year, would want to win here. And Melbourne could really cement a place in the eight by winning. A kick by Brett Lover to Lovell. Uze. Hilton normally kicks it to a good leader. And he does to Smith. Very constructive again, Hilton. And also, Brett Lovett uh, just getting another possession. He's done uh, particularly well since coming on. Had four touches in uh, a hell of a hurry. And this guy just can leap as high as any player in the game from a standing start and straight up without assistance. Missed kick, but to the point of the square. Melbourne with some hope. <coughs> Quick kick away by Laidley. Ross Smith under pressure. Rock outnumbered. Uze, little handball. Lovell round the body. Close. Very close, just missing. And you reckon, Jared, had that gone through, that might just about have been it. 8 8 11 11, Ashenko off. Well, kick is dangerous. Matthew Phoebe went for the punch on Stevens. And the change for North Melbourne, Jared, Mark Roberts. Matthew Phoebe there in picture. Roberts into the ruck, you can see him there on your picture. Obviously uh, trying to combat the mobility of Jim Steins. Schwoss kicks it back near the wing. Allison, but it's Robert Scott. Cowell the tackler. Hand pass goes over for a throw in. Centre wing. Out of sight of the ground. Dennis Pagan now with some concerns. Roberts and Steins. He's got some fantastic endurance, Jimmy Steins, isn't he? Gets in after it again. Effort. Roberts takes it away. Just got an important little left foot touch there. Stephen Phoebe tries to swing it wide for Steins. Roberts in the action again, taken now by Hopgood, and he runs away from the wing. His kick goes in towards the centre. It's been marked by Brett Lovett. Geez, has had some touches, hasn't he? Seacamp nearly run down by Ross Smith. The kick towards full forward. No mark. The ball spills again for Uze. Uze's kick, it's going to go through for... Oh, but... has kicked two behinds and Stephen Phoebe is it in all sorts of trouble behind play with a whack to the face by the look of it Anderson short kick finds Stevens who gives it to Laidley Laidley away Stephen Phoebe's definitely bleeding but the umpires haven't picked it up here's Schwoss on his eighth kick he has battled hard started well Primke Carey Carey good attempt Primke over the top Rock claims him 
And Carey, no free kick. Stephen Phoebe. Now, I think the umpire's it's been pointed out, and uh, he is going to come off. Try and patch up that uh, blood. Remembering that Glenn Lovett and Stephen Tingay are off the ground for Melbourne. Certainly Lovett couldn't come back, and it's very doubtful about Tingay. And uh, Doyle coming back out, so they should be able to patch uh, Phoebe up in a hurry, but uh, they're down effectively to 18 men right now. But it's interesting there that uh, the Melbourne runner went up and uh, disclosed the fact that one of his players has got a blood rule, as if maybe even trying to hold up the game. 8, 8, 11, 12, 56 to 78. So with 14 minutes left, North Melbourne, here's Robert Scott, gets his right foot to it, it's inside the 50 metre area, Fairley and Sean White. Watch the ball trundle over, and a throw-in will take place about 35 metres around from North Melbourne's goal. North Melbourne badly need a goal from this 4A up forward. Jimmy Steins and Mark Roberts to contest the boundary throw-in. Getting up close to uh, 200 games on end, Jimmy Steins. Archer back there. Seacamp. Stevens. Robert Scott knocked over in the finish by Todd Viney. And he does a good job, doesn't he? Todd Viney for Melbourne. Ten kicks, ten handballs. And doesn't score a lot, but uh, he's kicked it behind so far in this match. Steins bashes it to the front. Contest there in the forward pocket. Obst. And the boundary umpire will throw it, in, throw it in once again. Gary Lyon has John Blakey as his opponent, probably for the duration of this last turn. Ian Fairley coming off the ground as well. Thrown in the pocket. North desperate for a goal. Armstrong tried to go off the ground. Hilton got a little handball, didn't go far. Cow did well. He stood his ground and looked for a free, then gave one away, unfortunately. He will hate this decision, thinking it was his first. And he's really letting Peter Carey know, feeling that he had been held on to, and then he gave up the free, and Wayne Carey has got it. Well, Carey made the most of it. Can he make the most of the free kick? He's got it. Carey's first for the night. North are still in with a chance now. 9, 8, 11, 12. Will not be permitted on the arena. We're going to need a couple of quick ones, uh, North Melbourne. This is almost a mirror image because obviously Archer was uh, hanging on to Cal after he dropped it. And then Cal was hanging on to Carey after he let it go. Amazing stuff, but uh, line ball again. 16 points is the margin in favour of Melbourne. Centre clearance is important. Brett Lovett again. Gee, he's been terrific for a, uh, an interchange player to come on at the start of the quarter. And he's picked up six possessions. A free kick at centre half back to John Longmire. He's prepared to give the hand pass away. Blakey, again the hand pass. Roberts throws it on his left foot. Just a, a blind kick out wide. McKernan, well done. Forces it into the path of Allison. Didn't quite know where the ball was. Rock goes down. The tackle was fierce. Cowell was good. Now Matthew Phoebe over the top to Steins. Steins down the wing. And a little bit too far there for... No, it's a mark. Is it to Doyle? Close to the line. I think the boundary umpire may signal here. It was a mark, but it may have been over. No, it is a mark to Greg Doyle. So it must have been very, very close. Doyle is probably two and a half kicks from goal. Maybe only two. His kick lands at half forward. Rock runs away with the ball. Very important that he gets some possessions for North Melbourne in this last turn. He kicks in the direction of Allison. Cal quite prepared to bash the ball clear for a boundary throw in just forward of centre wing. Neil Barn looking anxiously at the players on the ground. Can his team hang on? North Melbourne making a surge forward. Roberts gets his right fist to it. Kick clear nearly by Obst. Kick clear by Matthew Phoebe. In towards centre-half forward now. Longmire goes after the ball. It's important here. It rebounds. Laidley, a bit fortunate. Handball over the top. Roberts. Back to Anderson. Not a bad kick of the football. This is ordinary, though. High to centre-half forward. Sean White marks. Two or three grabs of it. And then he plays on. Kicks it wide. Player on his own is Obst. At centre wing. 
the leading Lion. He kicks to him now. Lion goes early, takes a blank mark, runs away. Oh, not a good kick. He's looking for the chip to Brett Lovett. Laidley swings a handball. This will be danger. Oh, Kings give this terrific. And away goes Ross Smith up to centre wing. McKernan and White. White played it pretty well. Gets some support from Cowell. The handball was a little bit slack. Gets back to Viney. As Robbo said, he's a real workhorse. Kicks the ball wide and gets it as far as he can. Doyle's got it. Little handball, clever. Smith's handball inside. Hopgood's been good. Runs away as he does. Centering kick. Two set a half forward. Fly from Neitz at the back. Long one at the front. Blakey's got hold of the footy. Can run the full measure. Then goes with a long kick. Back just over the centre. Stein's good mark. Normally constructive. Comes out wide. Brett Lovett, take your pick. Andy Lovell's got it. Has Brett Lovett short. Has Uze at half forward. Neitz now leads. Lovell kicked a goal in the last quarter. He hugs the boundary line. Not a bad kick. Lyons got a terrific mark. That's a great piece of play by uh, Gary Lyon there. He just moved to the centre. In fact, signalled with his right hand that that's where he wanted the ball to go. And he didn't make a break for the ball until well and truly after it was kicked. Ended up taking a spectacular mark. Big stats here. 14 kicks, 7 marks, 5 goals. He's now out the centre-half forward. There's uh, Stephen Phoebe, who looks uh, like he's been patched up. By Andrew Daff, their doctor. He should be back with us shortly. Well, this could be the sealer. He's kicked five. He's got it. He's kicked six. What a magnificent captain and leader he is, Gary Lyon. Magnificent mark. Fantastic kick. Yes, and a great goal. He really has uh, performed fantastically well in the second half and wasn't uh, too shabby in the first by the way but uh, that was a great mark he was unbalanced landed awkwardly swung the foot across but just snuck the ball home well mckernan will get north melbourne away from the center bounce up towards half forward carey beaten this time by pretty stood his ground and judged it pretty well Hand pass away, Lovell, short kick, looks for Obst and finds him at left half back. He can play on, short kick again, he's effective, Dyson's got it. He can go further forward, good running provided by Hilton. Melbourne have forced the ball now to half forward and it lands with Stephen Phoebe, plays on. 150 quality games for Melbourne by Stephen Phoebe. The kick to the goal front, Hilton spins out of trouble, he's dumped. Away goes Lyon, handball, Sean Smith, he's dumped it. Sean Smith has kicked his second goal. And all of a sudden, Melbourne get that break they were looking for. They lead by 28 points. And great work there by Hilton and Gary Lyon. Hilton just threw himself into the pack. Back on the ground now, Phoebe and Stephen. And just have a look for uh, the effort here of Hilton, who just charges the ball. Gets it down, well, gets unloaded, and he goes down. Smart hands there by Gary Lyon, and a good finish by Smith. Going strongly, the D's. 13 12 to 9 8. They've won 8 out of 10 going into this match, even though they were last game losers. Smith out of bounds on the fall. The big margin of the game so far 28 points. All of a sudden, it just appears to have uh, fallen right away now for North Melbourne. Melbourne may go on and uh, record a pretty convincing victory. Uze's kick, forward pocket, Smith beats <laughs> like, And Reynolds went with him at the back. Oh, no wonder he was injured for about five years. Let's have a look at this fly. <laughs> this bloke has had more injuries than most players get in a lifetime. God, he nearly sticked up David Neitz too when he fell on top of him. Steins over the back, Blakey, Viney in the pocket, can he keep it in? He does, well inside 50, oh Smith again was it, little give tried by Hilton, Anderson onto him, and Melbourne hold it up.
His dad said he's dangerous to him. Smith, how'd you like to be a player uh, in front of him? And there's uh, John Longmire. It looks like he may have copped it from Sean Smith. There he did. Boot right in the ribs. But boy, it'd be fantastic to watch him fly, but not from underneath. Johnny Longmire looks as though he's recovered, and the umpire will bounce about uh, 25 metres from the Melbourne goal. Roberts just punches it clear. Longmire's jumper. And it looks as though it will be in bad need of repair. So what can the North Melbourne Grange Trust conjure up in the last few minutes? There's eight and a half minutes left. North Melbourne trail by 28 points. Armstrong just gets a kick out. Anderson close to the line. He's kicked it over on the full. Good pressure provided by Melbourne on their forward line. Not allowing North Melbourne to clear that uh, congested area. Right half forward, about 50 metres from the Melbourne goal. And what's going to happen here? It's going to be Matthew Phoebe. Stephen thought he was going to get a kick. But it goes back to the family anyway, in the way of Matthew. Matthew's kick to the front of the square. Big flyers again. Schwoss comes away with the ball. North must get a goal out of this. Schwoss's kick. He looks for Carey. Dyson at the fall of the ball. Hand pass. Not far enough. Armstrong gets it back. Rock. Schwoss. Handball over the top. Running provided by David King. King's kick towards full forward. No mark taken by Archer. He falls over, which was important. Seacamp tackled by Allison. Back it goes to Archer. Archer's snapshot for goal is pretty good. It's a goal to North Melbourne. A goal kicked by Glenn Archer. Brings the margin back to 22 points. So North Melbourne hang in there. There's seven and three quarter minutes left. Just hanging in North after a great goal by Archer. Not impossible. They could still get back, but Melbourne are going like winners. 13-12 to 10-8. Steins, McKernan, they both go early again. McKernan gets it. Seacamp's quick kick out of the centre again. Good smother by Obst off Armstrong. Viney gets it well inside. Set a half all. A lovely mark. He's had a very good second half, Andy Lovell. He's got the hard one there, but that was a great mark. Yeah, quite spectacular. Big leap. Good sticky hands. Just have a look at this one. John Blakey in about a similar position, but. Uh, Anthony Lovell coming over and completing a good grab. And he should go back and capitalise. But Melbourne have had a lot of uh, lesser lights come to the fore tonight. Uh, I think Hopkins had a terrific game. Hilton's had a very good game. The Phoebe brothers, in particular Stephen, uh, has had a good game. Lovell has kicked one goal in this last quarter. Good looking kick, he's got his second. I think the gate might now be closed for good. 14-12, 10-8. It'll be really tough for North to uh, conjure up a flying finish to win this now. Yeah, I think you could safely say Melbourne home now, Bruce. And uh, all of a sudden, North Melbourne in a losing streak of three. And facing Richmond of next week. Another good scrounge provided there by Andrew Ops to make sure that uh, North Melbourne didn't clear the centre. Matthew Armstrong, Stevens kicks it forward. Bounces very awkward. Up to the full forward line. Away goes Sean White. Little kick out into the path there of Brett Lovett. Running onto it, David King couldn't control it. And a throw-in will take place. Jared, I've misinformed you a couple of times. It's West Coast next week, Richmond the week after. Still pretty tough though, isn't it? Rod yes, looking on. speaking of tough, uh, there's Uncle Rod. 10 8, 14 12, Steins, McKernan. Armstrong just held up, hip and shoulder by Archer was pretty good on Viney. Viney kept going though. Armstrong and Pyman had a little battle between themselves. Pyman's little kick. Allison couldn't quite get the handball away. Cow's done the little things very well tonight to Matthew Feeble, to Phoebe, I should say. Nothing feeble about the Phoebes. Jim Steins. Now Obst, Laidley with him, still in play this footy. David King battling away, tries to break the tackle. He's gone. Melbourne have continued to harass. Uze's kick, pretty good. Obst running onto it. Holds onto it. Now he's got to Gary Lyon about 20 metres from the goal. Sean Smith in the goal square. Lyon's 
a couple of signals. Now, Ops kicks towards line. He's being held on to. He's got it. Free kick. Blakey in an unfamiliar role as a key defender in this last quarter. Yes, and he knew he was just a little bit outgunned here and uh, Scrag Gary Lyon, who did help the umpire make his decision. It wasn't uh, the most obvious of free kicks, but uh, Lyon should kick his seventh. He's done that already once this year, seven goals. He's done it for the second time. <clears throat> Five goals in the second half to Gary Lyon. He kicked two magnificent goals in the second quarter. 15-12 to 10-8. And without doubt, uh, I would think the best man on the ground after what's been a fantastic second half. And he really has, has overshadowed some fairly high-quality forwards on the, on the ground. The MCG tonight, consider Carey, Longmire. Big game. So uh, the margin, probably the only thing to be decided now in the last five and a half minutes. Surely Melbourne would win this game, and deservedly so. Robert Scott gets the ball out to King. King's kick. Oh, that's kick in danger. No, holding on. It wasn't kicking in danger. The umpire there indicating that uh, his jumper was being held there, Wayne Carey, and he'll kick from 50 metres. Gets it right to the line. I think it's covered the players, and he's kicked the goal. So a pretty good kick by Wayne Carey to register his second goal. And North Melbourne's 11th. The margin, 28 points with four, nearly five minutes left. Well, it's been a great game from uh, Paul Krimke, in particular when he's been on Wayne Carey, but he just uh, suffered a little bit on that occasion. And the King kicked one from the 50. Back to 11, 8 to 15, 12. Carey with his second goal, both in this final quarter. But uh, the sting's really gone out. The official attendance tonight, 28,838. Only got a similar crowd the first time these two teams met, so they're not great drawers against one another. Uze's little kick. Schwass, you must say, though, the weather tonight looked dreadful at about 4 o'clock this afternoon. It's turned out to be very good. Lately, little chip. Good take by Armstrong, North still coming. Schwoss back to Armstrong, then squeaks it out. McKernan, the target, came from the back, goes to ground. Allison's handball, Pyman's left footer, back to full forward. Longmire sets himself with White. Sean White can run away, goes one way, then the other. Now has plenty of time, no pressure at all, and delivers perfectly to Steins. And Steins comes away at half back. Jimmy Steins with the football. Four minutes left. He's 50 metres from North Melbourne's goal. Short kick. He's effective and he's found Todd Viney. So, adding another statistic to the well determined. You could use a lot of adjectives and they'd all be uh, that desperate, determined dower for Todd Viney. Makes it difficult for the opposition to get a kick. It's on centre wing. Uze can't get clear. Hilton can. Bumped off the ball was Neitz by a McKernan Obst. Back to Steins. Steins, bit of an open hander. Armstrong, King, and now Laidley. Laidley with his 20th kick. Kicks towards half forward and a good diving mark taken by Hopgood, who has been very much a desperado in the defence for Melbourne. Jeff Hopgood, eight kicks and six handballs, but he's applied four tackles. And he's been a real goer for Melbourne and it has epitomised the Melbourne performance. Their reserves were annihilated earlier in the evening by 83 points, but their seniors have been terrific. Steins still contesting in the dying minutes of the game. Brett Lovett and the umpire calls for a bounce. Laidley for North Melbourne, 20 kicks and four handballs. Armstrong, 16 kicks and eight handballs. Probably two of their better players. But uh, Melbourne, Gary Lyon with seven goals. Steins 13, 8, 9 hit outs. Here comes the ball down towards Viney. A good contest there, Rock and Viney. And the umpire will once again call for a bounce. Two minutes left in the game. Anthony Stevens just looking a little frustrated. 
Andrew Obst, well, you could get frustrated with Obst hanging around. I think he's just a terrific negator of any sort of positive play from the opposition. Jimmy Steins. Always got plenty to say, hasn't he? <laughs> Has such a nice accent, doesn't he, when he says it. Obst, out of play. 13 kicks, 9 handballs Obst, 10 marks, 5 tackles. So North Melbourne, they have to uh, regroup again and make their run towards September. They'll make the final eight, but uh, their percentage is low and their chances of being in the top four have taken a nosedive. So they could meet a Carlton or a Geelong or an Essendon or a West Coast in a first final in a knockout situation. It'll be pretty tough. Phoebe's got it. Centre wing, this is Stephen Phoebe. Tough night really to give votes. 11 8 to 15 12. Been a lot of contributors. Lion, the standout with his seven goals. Phoebe kicks two, a half forward, neat, so good take. Has, it, has had an interesting game, Reitz. He was uh, clearly best on the ground at quarter time. Started the second quarter pretty well, also. In fact, good enough for Kerry to be uh, moved on him, but it's just faded a bit away since then. Gary Lyon, not quite. Smith to Schwoss. Schwoss, who was reported earlier in the night, gets good distance. Looking for McKernan and Carey. Goes to ground. Stephen Phoebe held his ground very well. Gets it back out towards uh, Matthew Phoebe. Just went without it, Viney, but the tackle on Allison Reasonable. Sea camp it was earlier. Now Cowell, he's been pretty good. Phoebe and also Stephen. Stephen's uh, reasonable, but a bit quiet for his own high standards. Kings kick the set of half forward. Melbourne with numbers. Carey punches it on cleverly to Longmire. Longmire's turning circle was fairly large then, but he gets it back to the pocket. Allison gets it back. Well played to Armstrong. He'll get it. He's got it. <laughs> I thought they were going to miss it up. It's like a game of tennis. Man of backhanders. Late goal to Matthew Armstrong. That North Melbourne uh, support is pretty happy, but... Uh, it's going to add up for not much in the end. 12-8 to 15-12. Matty Armstrong gets his first. Now let's have a look at this game of tennis. There was 15, love. <laughs> and then just on the baseline, decides to just throw a lob up. And then Allison coming in for another backhander. And pretty good net play here by Matthew Armstrong. Fair Fair job at the, the tennis Yes, ball. terrific description there. I thought Doug Hayward had made a comeback there for a minute, Jared. <laughs> And North Melbourne struggle across half-back. Anderson missed his target, but Ross Smith able to get the hand pass to Stevens, And the siren will sound. And a terrific victory for Melbourne. They'd be fairly pleased with that. Wayne Carey, the sportsman that he is. But Melbourne have taken the honours here in this match that was uh, fairly crucial to both sides. Melbourne 15-12, 102. 22-point victors over North Melbourne. North kick 12-8-80. And Wayne Carey just uh, ponders what is happening for them in the next month. Certainly the last month hasn't been all that flash, but down on the bound, down on the ground is the big difference. Thanks very much, uh, Gerard. Uh, we'll talk about workhorses. Uh, Todd Viney, a terrific win tonight. Uh, a feature tackling. Yeah, we said ourselves that we're going to make about 60 tackles. I don't know whether we made that, but... Uh, the tackle in the back line was fantastic and midfield was good so it's going to be a battle all night and uh, to the course group they really stuck at it and come back way with the points so. It was an important win tonight for Melbourne I thought uh, last week in the second half against Geelong you showed some uh, character Yeah we went very good the first half Geelong were pretty good but uh, the boys really fought back last week and perhaps could have uh, could have stolen with a bit of luck but uh, today we really bounced back and it was good I've been watching the play tonight you absolutely love getting in uh, into the big blokes Well you saw if someone's going I suppose <laughs> We're talking about tennis before. Do you prefer playing tennis or footy? A nice night tonight. I think I prefer tennis, yeah. Go on, yeah, Charlie. All right, mate. Big effort by Melbourne. Gary Lyons, seven goals. He was a judge, the best man on the ground. 15-12 to North Melbourne, 12 goals, eight. Look at the ladder. We see that Melbourne's percentage is pretty strong. Nine wins, eight losses. They've moved up one, but Footscray to play tomorrow. And for North, they do lose a bit of touch with that top four. The 1995 AFL Premiership season. Brought to you by Mitsubishi Motors Australia. Qantas, McDonald's, Mobile, Carlton Draft and National Australia Bank. Today's matches, Gary Ablett going for his 100 goals against Sydney. Their favourite Geelong, Essendon over Fremantle. Footscray favoured over Hawthorne, Richmond over St Kilda. On Sunday, bottom plays top Fitzroy Carlton. 
West Coast and Collingwood should be a great game at Subiaco and Adelaide with a chance to stay in touch with the final eight. They played Brisbane in the late match at Football Park. But Melbourne tonight winning comfortably in the win. They've won nine out of their last 11 over North Melbourne on Friday night footy. Coach of Footscray came out today and said that Melbourne can beat any side.